so not that it actually means anything because they won't get used anyway let's face it I'm not just giving all these I don't really use enhancements never really seen the point in them oh, level 11 oh look at those stats those stats are just fucking great aren't they bloody bloody great I mean, let's, let's do two pages of uncommon where that gets us Bearing in mind, still got like 150 cards to go. So, should be fine. Level 14, are you kidding me? So close. Let's do three. Three more. There we go. There we go. Tokens, you should have high charisma. You do have high charisma. Let's give you charisma. Even though it's going to ultimately account for absolutely nothing. Because you are still the worst super rare on the team. Nikki Bella with the move. I was going to try and use like rack attack and say about her rack. But then I realised that's dirty and wrong. Is that really all the uncommons? Level 8. Here we go. Uh, anyway, Raw! Yes! Monday Night Raw. It was good, wasn't it? It was very good. <laughs> For once, I was like, actually interested. And I missed sort of it all happening. Because for those that haven't seen it, you know, spoiler alert, um, Roman Reigns became the champion. Which sort of makes TLC a bit pointless. But, something big happened for once. You know... Remember the days when you used to get ladder matches and stuff on Raw and titles would change all the time and like big things would happen and Raw felt like a pay-per-view apart from pay-per-views were just always bigger and better and now it's back, well it was back to that, you know, the um, you had the Dudleys versus, no you had the ECW team versus uh, um, the Wyatt family in an awesome Extreme Rules match and that promo that the ECW team um, did with the whole looking at the camera and flashbacks to ECW oh it was beautiful wasn't it? it was a beautiful promo never seen anything as good and I was cheering them on the hallway and I was so disappointed when they lost, because Eric Rowan, of all people, Eric Rowan decided to get the victory. Like, what the hell? It's Eric Rowan. He's not meant to do that. Like, really not meant to do that. <laughs> Vince McMahon, bloody Superman punch, Vince McMahon, you know, who returned. That was cool. Um. I think I'm going to cut these into 10 minute videos actually, make them short and sweet, a bit like your peen. Uh, who says that? What else happened on Raw? Becky Lynch and Charlotte, anything happened between them? Becky Lynch for Divas Champion now, just saying, I want her to be Divas Champion, because Becky Lynch is my babe. My baby. My baby!
Yeah, right, no stopping us now. Yeah, okay. I want to move out the 14,000 spot. <laughs> Problem is, as well, loads of people are going to play like right towards the very end, and it's going to make it extremely difficult because everyone's going to be playing, and I'm just going to be sitting here like a pleb. Um, there's no way I'm reaching that number one spot. But you don't need to be number one to get the survivor cards. No, I want a survive card. You know what I really want? I really want a Becky Lynch, a Sami Zayn, or a Finn Balor card. Or an actual, like, proper rare Sasha Banks. One of them. You know? But I don't know if you can actually get a Becky Lynch card. I think you can. I'm not too sure. Um. And Bailey. I mean, I, I wanted Bailey for ages as well, but then I got Bailey. I really want like a Finn Balor or a Sami Zayn. They're my two favourite wrestlers. Um, apart from Cesaro. Or oh yeah, Cesaro. I like Cesaro. Basically, right, let, let's go on a little trip. NXT. Um, Finn Balor, obviously. Uh, Finn Balor loves Sami Zayn. I'm surprised he's gone back to NXT because he could have made it in the main roster, but still, Sami Zayn, I'm just glad he's back. Um, who else? The Vaud villains, I quite like seeing the Vaud villains in the ring. Bit, I, I think their gimmick ruins it a little bit because they are very entertaining to watch. Um, who else? Who else exists in the wrestling world in NXT? Baron Corbin, I'm really can't stand. Apollo Cruz is quite good. Um, as for Divas, Bailey. Bailey's a very, very good storyteller in the ring. As Asuka looks very technical and very good, may I add. But in fact that uh, NXT London when she stood at Nia Jax, if we get Asuka versus Nia Jax, I'm going to be ecstatic. Um that's it. Samoa Joe, yeah, it's Samoa Joe, and it is. Seen him all in TNA. Who else? Who else? Who else? Adam Rose. Adam Rose. How could I forget about Adam Bloody Rose? <laughs> Cowboy James Storm. I can't stand Adam Rose either. He's just got that face that you want to punch, you know. Right, and then if we go into the actual main roster. Um. Seth Rollins. I really, really liked Seth Rollins as a wrestler because in the ring he is amazing. It's just a shame that they like made him look cowardly and all that because he he's really good. <laughs> um, Cesaro, pop he's injured. He deserves a push. If you follow me on Twitter, you would know. Um, do, 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 do. I think they quickly need to get Sheamus out the main title picture. Usos are entertaining, Dean Ambrose is entertaining. Not still got mixed opinions on Roman Reigns, if I'm being completely honest, and we're getting some data leaks, I need to close down Superguard and put it back up. It does this from time to time. Only on season two though it's a bit weird. Like, the game's not laggy, it just beta leak and it starts to, like, get all jumpy, so all I've got to do is close down Supercard and load back up on Android. Um, 